Hello there, and welcome to another Minigard 951 3D pixel art tutorial. And today, we're going to make another sort of character from Mario. We did Bowser yesterday. Sorry, my mistake, I called him uh, Koopa, I think. So, yeah, it's Bowser. I've been informed by you guys. It's always good to hear when you guys give me some feedback on the models. So, yeah, we're going to build a tw twit Twitter. Twitter from Mario 2, I do believe. It's like a bird with like wings and a mask. So what we can do is, I'll quickly show you what you're going to be building, and then we'll jump straight in and build it for you guys. Right, and we're back. So, right, what we could do is get our orange. We're going to need orange blocks, purple or pink. It's totally up to you. Red blocks, brown, black, and white. White, I normally use snow, but it's totally up to you. You could use the white wall. So, yeah, these are the, the blocks we'll be using for this one. We'll start off with our yeah, uh, yellow. We'll start off with our orange block. We do a row of three like that. And then one next to it with a row of five. And then next to that it'd be a row of three again. So you'll end up with something along the lines of that. In fact, what we'll do is make this a row of four. So your foot would look like that, roughly. Then what you can do is count two blocks across. And on your third block, you want to place a block like that. And this would be basically your foot. So you just want to copy what you've done there on this side. Like that. So it's the opposite way around to the one you've just done. And they're going to be the feet for this model. It's quite a cool looking model this one. So what you want to do is from this corner block count one black to there. And then do a row so it goes to the other foot there roughly. So as you can see it's all starting to take shape. Then we can come around to the side here. Do a row of two here and here. So you can see it sticks out nicely. And then what we can do is bring this round here and here. And this bit will fill in so it sticks out to there. So that should be the base of your model so far. It's looking pretty cool. So what we can then do is come around to the front again. Find the corner blocks. Place a block diagonal here and here. You can destroy the ones at the, the back. You're not going to see them at the minute. So you'll end up with a pattern like this. Do you keep doing like rows of two. So you come out diagonal there. Up here would be a row of two, and up here would be a row of two. As you can see, it's starting to take shape, and this is quite a cool looking model. I'm sure all your friends would be quite jealous to see you build this in your world, so yeah, feel free. So you'll end up with something that looks like that so far. And then on this front bit, you could do a two by two square, make it like that. This bit here will be mostly covered. So right, now we've done that, what we can do is come round to this bit here, one from the floor, and do a two blocks of your purple. Same with this side, so it ties in the body nicely. There you go, it's all going in and starting to make a nice little sort of shape. So what we then can do is come round to the side, come out, do a two by two square like that. In fact, we'll do it two by three, so it sits up to there. Then what you can do is bring it in to the the side of your model and then up to there and that's going to act as the side of him we do the exact same on this side so you want your two by three and then come in and up like that just like that superb it's looking brilliant so then what we can do is get your reds on this row here do a red on the corners just like that then come and bring it out too so from the bottom you should see something that looks very similar to that there then what we can do is come down diagonal again here and this is just basically this is going to be his like beak because it's a very sort of bird looking model this one so we do a line of four 
and we do that twice so that it comes out to roughly about there then you find your two middle blocks diagonal again do a two by two square flat so it'll end up like that I mean I know it doesn't look like a beak at the minute but once we start getting the orange in it'll start looking a bit better so we want to do like an L shape here like that as you can see it's starting to come to shape so then from here what you can do in fact we'll do it from here bring it out both sides oh, here and here and then at the top you can join it up so from the front you should see something that looks like that then what you can do is from this block here bring it out one both sides and do you want to go back diagonal twice so one here and one here just like that right so what we can do is bring this all the way across like that and then all the way to there as you can see his beak's starting to take shape now it's uh it's getting there it's getting there so what we can do get your red and from this you want to do like a zigzag pattern so it comes up like that i like to call it a w i don't know why it looks very much like a w so what we do the same here again bring it up and out to there and obviously these blocks that you can see which are left blank you can fill them in with your orange here and here so from the side you should see something that looks like that so then what we can do is from here oop, bring it out here and round so you end up with like that pattern there same with this side oop, 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 oop. I've gone all wrong there we go like, oop, like that so as you're looking from the beak it should look like that and obviously fill in this hole at the back because you, you won't see that and that is roughly his uh, beak yeah roughly so on, on the reds you want to add two oranges then uh, you want a black here and here and then two two orange in the middle as we, we're starting to build this up quite good now it's getting, getting there it's, doing the shape so now what we want we will do the black and we're going to do quite simple eyes so we want to row all the way across bring it up two same with this side and then bring it all the way across again and where these uh, blacks drop down you want to go up to the top and do the same here and here you fill in the two center blocks and then add these with white and that is just going to be the quite simple eyes for this model so then what we could do is get our reds come around to just above where the orange is and then you want to run this red all the way around the black you've just done Ooh. just like this if you follow me you should be fine with this one so we, what we'll do is we'll bring that all the way down to here and around to there so you should have something look like that filling in these two middle blocks so yeah as you're looking at him you should end up with something along the lines of that for now so then what we can do is we've got brown so from the brown what we can do is come down to this yellow uh, this red here go back diagonal and you want this to run all the way up to where the red starts there then what you can do is then come out diagonal here and you want this to run all the way so it's one short like that and you just want to continue the same as similar to what you did with the reds run this all the way around remember to cut off the corners here and here and that will go down to the where the red is there we go so as you can see we're slowly making him a bit more rounder and his head to fill in so what we can do is come to this top row of brown find the two middle blocks here and here and put them up a row as well so then what we can do is we'll start building this make him a bit more 3d and a bit more round we do a row of four of your pink or purple depending on what color you want to use I quite like this color for this model so so far what we can do is just do like a four by two and then twos twos either side like that then the next one you could do out the same again come out two to roughly about there and then this one at the side of the head we can alternate a bit so we can put a bit of white here and then finish both sides this bit here you want to then bring it down and do another two by four 
so it comes down to roughly about there and then you can do this sort of pattern again so you bring this down do two here and two here both the same with this side so <coughs> two two so it all lines up so as you're looking from the top at the minute the back of his head should look very much like that so then what we can do just before we go to bed is from this block here run it all the way to the other block remember leaving the side blocks exposed then you can fill in this bit here like that and then what you can do is find the two middle blocks here because that will be filled up and then underneath here you can do another row of four like so right we we'll quickly go to bed and we we'll complete the rest of this build in the morning and we're back so from the back of the head what you can then do is run this down another two after that so it'd be a three by four with two sticking out at the end and this is roughly where the back of your head's going to be I'm going to just put brown here for now because that's roughly where his mask is going to sit on this model so we can bring it round for now it's going to be the back of the mask strapped to this model you'll see what I mean once we get a bit more into this so then what we can do is from this block here we can run this all the way down and make sure it just runs around the last lot of purple that we've done so it goes round up at the back here Then you can have another brown both sides as you can see it's slowly bringing the strap round to the front of the face so what we can then do on the corners here bring it back here and here like that and that's looking pretty decent I like it so then what we could do also from this spot here you could bring this across to roughly about there you can see these blocks I've not filled in at the minute because that's roughly where I'm going to put the wings of this model so then what I can do is from this bit here bring it out diagonal and then find the two so it sticks out like that then from you want to come down a row again and you want to do this so it runs all the way around the two you've just placed originally and then what we can do is bring it down here and here as well go out diagonal with two this way then we can what we can do is put a white underneath here then a purple directly on the front of that and we just alternate the colour so we want another row of white and another uh, another row of purple like that and that is pretty much his tail complete for this one so what we can do is come under here fill that fill this bit in so it's flat underneath where the white bit is then come back diagonal here and do another row of four in fact, with fact, yeah, four. So it sits around the outside and comes back and joins up nicely there. Same with this one. So you want to bring it in and it lines up nicely. Alright, so that's looking good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So you can add a, a block on the edge here and here just to bring that back nicely. And we can have one here. And as you can see, all we're doing is just really starting to join up the body and make it all one complete model so we can add pink there for now but we'll probably it probably be hidden that them blocks we've just hit uh, just placed right let's come round to the side shall we uh, let's do a bit more of his face before we do anything else otherwise uh, I can see us getting a bit confused here so from this bit here we'll put a black and that's roughly the same line as where the strap is so in fact we'll do the strap and then we'll, we'll continue the head so you want two brown then come in cutting off the corner and two brown and that that links up nicely there so then what we can do underneath the row of brown you want a pattern like that of uh, white and then a purple there what we can then do is come down here and this would be a six by a, a six a two by three square and then you want to bring it in underneath here and then down to here so it all meets up nicely 
obviously this bit here you can fill in with your brown just filling in all the 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 the, the holes and everything just so we it all matches up nicely so the same sort of thing again here you'd have a brown have a couple of purples purple here and here this will come out and go up six so there up six I say six because it's six all together but it's a two by three then we get a white out do a little pattern like that with a purple there and then we can start to add our, our uh, strap to the actual model so two brown in one another two brown and that links up there superbly so then what we can do is come down to this corner of this block here you want to come out too and then just fill in this all the way up to the top there this bit you can then fill in one and this bit you can fill in one so you'll end up with something that looks like that and you can see it's all tied in nicely just continue what you did with this side so bring this out to there then from this one this will be a two by three square and then this one will be filled in there as you can see the majority of this build is really completed now all we really need to do is the wings for this model and then he is complete so what we're going to do is come around to the back see where we've got this big sort of fat T pattern what we can do is come to here place oranges either side here and here and that is just going to be the start of your wing brown on top so that meets up nicely there then what we can do oop, I've dropped off my fly so we'll <laughs> We come out and we want it to be a row forward but diagonally out as well. And we want to do that a few times. So, so far we've done it one, two, three, four. Four should be enough. And then what you want to do is go underneath the bottom of them and place your orange like so. Then what we can do is get our red and we'll drop this down to here. This one will be three. So come up to roughly the, the same length as the other one. The next one would be one lower. And then the side here would be just brown. So you want to drop it down so it starts just after the orange. And you want to bring it so it finishes one below the bottom. And there is just quite a simple wing for you. We do continue the pattern on this side. So we do what we did. We'll get the brown build it up hopefully you should be able to follow and see how I'm making it like diagonal as I am then we get our reds two here three here one more there so it sticks down lower and then for the brown there we go and that is pretty much our model complete. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like, tell your friends, share the video, help the channel grow. Take care, goodbye. Bye.